All right. What are we going for here? Fish? I love fish. Fish are great. Oh, buy the DLC? Yeah, two fish start is excellent. What do we want? I don't love any of these. Cricket? Is cricket better than beaver? It probably doesn't matter that much. In fact, beaver's probably better... Because we'll probably win either way with the fish. And at least the beaver will give us some value when it when it dies. Yeah, no ant. Ant would have been ideal. Third fish would have been would have been the best. What are we? We are I mean, those words go together. Why would we even be masseuses? Giga Duck Strat? Is that a thing? Hello, cardboard. We didn't get any ducks, did we? Did they offer us a duck? I don't think they did. Have I even ever bought a duck? What does duck do? I'm not scared of you guys. Ty is fine. Duck is a high risk play style. We did get an ant. We also got an otter, which is fine. I guess we're going to otter... Otter freeze? Freeze the ant and then spin? Do we just go ahead and apple now? Maybe we just go ahead and apple now. You basically give up two lives for a turn three spike. I see. What does duck do? I think this is fine. Nope, no triples. We're really just looking for another fish move. Actually, the ant can go in front. Make thick fish. Yes, I love the thick fish. There's no ducks. I don't think it's worth it saving for pairs. Oh, why thick fish last? Oh, I see. To force it to, to land on it? I think it probably wouldn't have mattered either way. Our build is our build was strong. Oh, game rewarding us. Okay. The question is, do we sell something first? I think so. Right, because we don't want we don't want the buffs to go onto these units. I think what I can do, I don't have to freeze, right? I can do this, sorry, I can stack, because I'm gonna do that anyway, and I can buy here, and then I can roll. But I have to buy two things next turn, right? Duck is good. Wait, so what am I doing here? I'm going to sell... I'm going to sell... I guess... Otter? Buy Swan, stack, buy... Another Otter. Crab was good. Maybe freeze Crab. Crab is gone. Sorry. No, no, I can't sell two. I can only sell one. I think Otter is the one to sell. Although Beaver Cell is also okay. I see. Crab can stack as well.
You can buy two back. I won't have enough money. All right, we're selling beaver. That's that's not ideal, but that was good. We're buying this. Tripling. <gasps> do we buy spider or do we just spin? I think we just buy spider. Or otter. Either one's okay, actually. Actually, maybe we buy otter. Because we're not going to keep Spider anyway, so we may as well get a buff. That was a good buff. And hope for a triple. I think we saved the pill for the ant. I don't think we're going to die, but... Move over. Move over. So maybe freezing the snail is not good? Because we're not going to die here. We're strong. We're We're super strong. Pill is good, though. Okay. Yeah, it's probably fine not to have a full team. Uh, but I think it does help. Yeah. I'm just gonna... Easy. <laughs> Easy, he says, with a 1-2 otter. We didn't need that snail. We take another swan, though. Do we save the otters? Do we stack the otters? Yeah, I guess we stack the otters. Take the swan. We also have the ant. Do we pill it now? Would the order have changed? Wait, what? Speeding sounds like taking smoke bomb. That's right, that's right. You're counting on losing. Right, you don't want to count on losing. But sometimes you can tell you're going to lose. I like big swan. Okay. Triple swan. I think we keep them separate for now because we can get three gold out of it. Oh, I bought the swan too soon. I feel like this is fine as a as a composition. So I think we're okay just spending on rolls. Although what are we rolling for? It doesn't really matter. We could also just buy a cupcake. I sport snail freezing and hate smoke smoke bomb. Maybe I've been conditioned to lose in the, at this game. Pill big fish. Pill big fish. We're not pilling big fish. What? No, that sounds terrible. But I don't think there's a level two we want. Save Flamingo and Pill. I feel like next turn, once the threes are unlocked, I don't want to waste my... <laughs> Merge Fawns and Pill them. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm not listening to y'all. Artemis is a good idea. We could have bought the flamingo now. It still is wasting one, one next turn. Although I guess we're rich now. Our economy is popping off. Look at all that. Look at all that money. You didn't even give me any threes. Come on. Uh, let's hope for a good four. Give me a monkey. I would love a monkey. This game, this game just constantly rewarding me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Always reward it today. That's right. Do we stack all the swans and put the monkey 
and put the swan in front and the monkey in the back, we'll also get another tier four out of it. But I think that's right. We're going for big, big swan. Swan tank. Yeah. Oh, monkey! <laughs> ah, this game. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Wait, so the order in which you stack the swans changes things? I thought it didn't matter. I thought the order in which you stack them didn't matter. Oh. It always just does a plus one, plus one on the base unit, on whatever you're stacking on top of. I did not know that. Stacking to the biggest one. Oh, I didn't know that. That's good to know. I always just assumed it keeps the buffs separate from the base stats, and the, the buffs all carry over. But I guess that's not how it works. <laughs> that seems like a sensible way for it to work, but, you know. Do we take garlic armor temporarily? It'll be good against if we run into a token build. At this point, we could have missed up to up to three three. We don't care about any of this stuff. All right. I guess we could have saved. We could have frozen the garlic and then spun it. Garlic armor is good for a long time. It's. It's true. It, we got a lot of value out of garlic armor there. This build's gonna be hard to lose. Double monkey so early and and the level two swan is pretty good. So what are we looking for at this point? More monkeys? I think we just keep spinning. It'll give plus two, plus two. I mean, it gives one, one here and then one, one to a random. The thing is, getting plus one, plus one on the monkeys doesn't really do anything for us, right? So that's why I'm like, that's why I was a little hesitant about stacking the otters. Yeah, we're not getting anything good at tier three. Is there anything better than an apple? The best thing that we could get is pill, pill plus an, an ant. Or pill plus, uh... Uh, pill plus, uh... Flamingo, maybe. But we need a lot of money to do something like that. Oh, look at that, we got a pill and an ant. It's probably fine selling the otter for that. We don't really need the otter. Leveling the otter is better. That's plus two, plus two. I mean, I can do both. I just won't be stacking. Don't I want to do both? I could sell this, I could pill the ant, and then I could buy an otter. I mean, this stat's lower, but I don't really care about this character's stat anyway. Because we're not keeping it long term. I don't plan on it. Man. Kangaroo? I feel like kangaroo is probably better than otter. We could put it behind the swan. No, I understood what you were saying. You were saying we could have made the otter bigger by stacking it. But I'm saying that otter's not useful because we're not going to keep it long term anyway. I mean, it would make next round stronger, but that's not actually important. <laughs> Cardboard is in the otter gay.
If you buy a t tier one otter and not summon it, oh, and you stack it, oh, it would have plus, plus two plus two to something. Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. You're right. Oh, in that case, it would have been better. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it would have buffed plus two plus two. I see, I see. Yes, we would have gotten an extra uh, plus one plus one out of it. We missed out on a plus one plus one. I think we keep that. Because if we can get a level two kangaroo, it'll be good. Do we go for the level three swan? Remember that the next time you have a level two otter? Sometimes you do. Any unit can become the tank, so I feel like any unit can end up getting to level two. Any tier one unit can end up getting to level two. Is it worth saving the swans? Are we going for like level three swan? I feel like it's not worth the investment. Because it, you end up paying nine, nine to get there, and you're not gonna have nine turns of it paying out. The game's just not last run won't last that long. So it's like not worth it. Okay. I think we're fine. Alright. I think we're still strong. The double monkey. The early double monkey. The turn five double the monkey is probably gonna be very hard to beat. Yeah, this swan is just too big. You're trying to make swan stronger, but then you're paying like three to get a plus one plus one. I feel like that that's also probably not a great investment. You're right. Yeah, it's true. It. I mean, it's not any better than buying buying fruit or buying an apple. Not any fruit. Bad fruit. Okay. I think we want more monkeys. We want more kangaroos. <laughs> Look, another swan. I think we'll take the canned food, though. Because we will likely stack the monkeys and something's going to come in. Welcome back, Mary. How was your dinner? Is bison good? Or is ox good? I don't think ox is good. Ox is different than bison, right? Bison is a different unit. You're right. That's an ox. Uh, we died. We died because I'm stupid and I misplayed. And then we retried it. We we saved and, and restarted the fight. And we won. And then I killed myself because... Because, you know, I was dumb. Yeah, ox is pretty good. Five, six times two, it's probably better than the fish. Maybe we just save it? Is it what we want long term? I died. You're right, I died. I think we actually just spin. We could maybe save it, but I think we want the slot. I feel like ox is not our long term strategy. Although, the melon armor is actually kind of nice. So maybe it is a long-term strategy. Okay, I've convinced myself. We'll spin twice. We got kangaroo. Uh, we can't afford kangaroo. Well... Do we save pear, also? We maybe save pear. We could sell fish, buy ox, freeze kangaroo, and that's probably fine. Ox may scale more in the future, probably more than fish. Oh, we had one more spin. Oh no, it's because it was level two, that's why. I always forget that the higher level, uh, that you get extra gold back. We're going to lose. We might lose at this point. Maybe? Are we strong? 
I actually think we're strong. So I'm not going to save the snail. All peacocks. It's a thing, right? Peacocks are okay. Uh, they combo well with elephants. Elephants and peacocks are friends in this game. But the elephant strategy is mediocre. It's hard. It's hard to make work. I actually haven't seen very many people... I haven't seen very many of the opponents I fight using elephants anymore. I feel like they used to be much more common. I think everybody wants elephants to work, but they don't work very well. I just use elephant as a stat stick. Yeah. It's hard to make it work. Our tank is so big already. Elephants suck. <laughs> and have always sucked. Oh, have they always sucked? Uh, penguin? Penguin? I think we take penguin. Especially because our kangaroo is going to be level 2. And if we can get our monkey to level 2. Ooh. Turkey? No. No turkey. Do we have to stack our... Do we stack our monkeys now? Or do we wait? Do we just... Maybe we just freeze this. What is your strategy with your build now? The main strategy with this build is... it. So, so the main difficulty of the game is you want to scale as quickly as possible. Gain stats as quickly as possible. We were very fortunate and we have these two monkeys. The monkeys give uh, whoever is on the far right plus two plus two. We have two of them. So every turn we get plus four plus four. So our basic strategy is make the guy in front as big as possible. Uh, everything else, the, the other two are actually not that important relative to, to that. Everything else is just what, what else can support that. The kangaroo benefits from it attacking. It gets bigger. Um, and then the ox basically just benefits from getting some armor from when the kangaroo dies. But really, we're just trying to make the biggest swan possible. Yes, it's make a big swan is our strategy. And hopefully it doesn't die. So we're, we're looking for things that will make Swan bigger. Which is maybe buying another Swan. Although I think it... Why is there garlic on the Swan? Garlic is armor. I don't know why. But you take two less damage per hit. Which is, which is good uh, until... As long as he hits are like 10 damage or less, it's like pretty good. But then once the damage starts climbing into like the 20s and 30s, it, it doesn't really matter. Perfect time to build the swan. We're not building the swan. I guess we're committing to this ox. I guess. Now that it it seems less bad now. Is this game PvP? Uh, yes, but it's asynchronous PvP. So, so it's like other auto battlers like Hearthstone or uh, Team Fight Tactics or whatever. Except um, it's asynchronous. So I don't know exactly how it does the matchup, but I think it it matches you up to somebody at the same turn level and probably the same win-loss ratio, and then you fight them asynchronously. It probably pulls from like the last day or something, or the last couple hours. I don't know. But each matchup, I think, is random. I just started paying attention because you were saying the most ridiculous things about monkeys and elephants. <laughs> you know, you could turn these into like dragons and gremlins, and, and then it would be just like, all the other auto battlers out there. It's a snapshot, whatever that means. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I mean, is it any sillier than, than dragons and gremlins and goblins and whatever? Yeah, it, 
it's it's all the same thing, right? These games are. I have now seen three swans, and now I regret not taking them. And then or storybook brawl. Storybook brawl is like fairies and like uh, stuff like that, right? It's basically the same. You're gonna start playing as quickly as possible, see if you get matched up. If that's how it works. Okay, so next turn, uh, we tier five is gonna open up. So I don't think we save the pair. As much as I love saving pairs, the penguin is was. I guess the penguin will also give a plus two, plus two at this point. Even if we had stacked the monkeys, it would have just split it one here and one here. And that would have been better than putting all of it on the swan, because the swan's probably going to hit 50-50. You think it might work? I should have stacked and bought the penguin, in retrospect. It would have given the same stats. But look, they're ears and we're eyes. That's a big dodo magic. Uh-oh. Are we losing? No, Melon Armor. Melon Armor saves us. That was a little scary for a second. But we're at we're at seven wins. Wow, it just really wants me to have pairs. Okay, I convinced myself that this is worth it. But it would be nice if we could. Should I just buy it or keep it frozen? I think we buy it. I like the pairs, but if we get chocolate, chocolate is now available. Oh, because cow. I forgot about cow. You're right. Yes. And there's the cow. You're right. Freezing it would have been better. Yep. I totally forgot about cow. For some reason, I thought I was only rolling for these. Yeah. I was only rolling to get, you know, more penguins or monkeys or whatever. Anyway, this is all junk. Wait, what? Could not connect to server. What are you talking about? Oh, there it worked. That was weird. I've never seen that before. I'm like, I'm clearly on the internet. Yeah, we could pivot off Ox. I mostly just fear for the large sunk cost. There's chocolate. Chocolate on the monkey? I think so. Right? Because then the penguin will help it. Or do we go ahead and start putting on the... Tiger! <gasps> Tiger is maybe better than kangaroo? Or sorry, better than ox? For making big, big kangaroo? Also food. So I think next turn we're going to sell the ox, we're going to food, and we're going to tiger. Yeah, tiger is so good. Tiger has so many good synergies. Oh, we could have bought it by selling. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep kangaroo. All right. We can't buy all this next turn, but that's okay. I think we're still fine. We're still so strong. I always forget about the gold when from selling. It works exactly the same in Hearthstone, and I would forget it all the time. Or I would like order it wrong. Hearthstone had the other aspect where you are capped at 10, 10 money. The money works almost exactly the same, but you're capped at 10. So it matters when you sell. If you sell and you're already at 10, you can't get more than that. Punished by dog. So let's see. So you're saying I can 
drop this and then put the level two kangaroo on top of it and it'll be bigger. Instead of a seven, eight, I will get a nine, 10. Like this. That's slightly better. Oh, we should have taken the snail. Whoops. Goodbye, snail. That's all junk. If it's just two, it doesn't matter. All right, tiger. Tiger swan. I see. Yeah, our swan. Our swan is so good. All right, eight. Oh, I see, I see. With the, with the uh, otters, it mattered. Monkey? I guess. Do we need more canned food at this point? I don't think so, because I think we're just buffing what we already have. I think the canned food doesn't help us. Nothing. For easier pivots, I don't think we're pivoting at this point. What, what could we possibly pivot into? Extra life doesn't help us, right? Oh, if we get another penguin, selling and buying a new penguin would be better. That's true. I don't think we want to pivot to leopard at this point. I think we just buff what we have, right? Melon armor. So I think it's good on either of these. Wait, which one is it better on? It's probably better on Swan for now. On Kangaroo? Because the Kangaroo doesn't have anything right now? I feel like uh, Scorpion. Scorpion Scorpion wrecks us. Yeah, you'd put it on Swan? Yeah, I'd put it on Swan too, because I feel like uh, Scorpion wrecks us. And kangaroo is already growing pretty good. Artemis is always right. <laughs> Barbara Bears, I'd say Swan as well. All right. Artemis is always right. So we, we do what Artemis says. Token build punishes. I mean, at this point, the tokens are big anyway, right? Wrecked. Wrecked him. Our kangaroo so big. Why do you keep saying you can't connect to the server? <laughs> the booped. Oh look, we got another melon. It doesn't matter. They're both getting it. Alright, we melanig. And then now I think we just want stats. Penguin? Penguin level 3, or level 2. Excellent. Give all other level 2 and 3 friends, plus 2, plus 2, which is everybody but Tiger. But we're not going to upgrade Tiger, so it's just going to be that way. Uh, I think we're pretty much done here. And we're on the ninth round, so it doesn't really matter. Why are they overloaded? Are they too popular? Is that what's happening? Everyone else wants steaks. Yeah, I would take steaks. Oh look, there's a steak. I mean, this is the probably the last round. I mean, I guess we might lose. It seems unlikely. We're pretty strong. We may also move the penguin in front after 
after this. Yeah, this is over. Doesn't matter. I don't care about my tiger. Hello, plants! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> I think that's witty. Thank you so much for the resubscription. I've never won with three hearts left. Easy win, yeah. We got super lucky with, um, we got two monkeys. We got two monkeys on turn five or something. It was super lucky. Like, it shouldn't have happened that we got two, two monkeys so early in the game. It's pretty hard to lose in that situation. <laughs> 